Children are the window to life. But not all children get a fair chance to live their lives to the fullest. The vicious cycle of poverty has resulted in growing numbers of people living in squalor, living in desperation, living in the slums. The orphan phenomenon is a serious effect stemming from this very human problem. Meet Fozia Mudoni Hassan, commonly known as Mama Fozia. Touched by the plight of these abandoned children, she saw a need for immediate intervention to this rapidly growing problem in Majengo, a sprawling slum within Nairobi, Kenya. Mama Fozia began her life's calling by adopting children directly into her matrimonial home. The needs of these children were basic. Food, clothing, shelter, healthcare, and education. But most of all, what they really needed was someone to love them and to care for them. I was working as a, a social worker. I was working with a Crescent Medical Aid. So I decided, 1989, and I decided to take care of the kids who has, uh, who has lost their parents. It was very necessary for me to help that child because she was just born and then thrown, abandoned. Out of this situation, Mama Fozia officially started an orphanage in the early 1990s, Mama Fozia Children's Home. The home adopts children regardless of age, tribe, gender or religion. Throughout the years, the home has saved many children, giving them a chance to life. The home was initially based in the Majengo slum area, but issues of congestion, insecurity and unhygienic surroundings dogged the aspirations of the center. Majengo, according to the environment, it wasn't good. And they could never, never pray because there was no space. This deeply disturbed Mama Fozia and urged her to seek out a healthier environment for the children. Her dream came true in 2005 when a Kenyan well-wisher heard of her story and donated a house in the Nairobi suburb of Kasarani. Simple but spacious and quiet, Mama Fozia and friends have been able to turn this into the healthy, inspiring space the children always needed space and room for the children to play and to engage in the many learning activities that Mama Fozia facilitates. Here they study. In Pumwan they could never do their studies. And uh, I can see even the studies, they have changed. They are in, uh, improving. And uh, they feel proud being here. Ramadan Swale is living testimony of the many positive aspects the home has been able to cultivate from its unique program. We enjoy living inside there because we get educational, shelter, clothes and everything, like every family outside there. Yeah. Hassan Omar is yet another example. Hassan was found as an orphan at the tender age of eight. At Mama Fozia Children's Home, he was brought up and was able to attend high school. Now in his 20s, Hassan is a third year college student studying business administration. We are just living a normal life here. The life is normal. The kids you can see even, the kids are just, they're enjoying the place, they are cool. Uh, definitely the life at Majengo was, I can call it, very risky. We, before Mama got all this support, we used to hustle on our own. Like in ghetto, the people live in ghetto. Like Hassan and Ramadan, many of the children have enrolled in elementary, secondary and tertiary education institutions in Kenya and even across the globe. Currently I'm at Kenya Methodist University pursuing my degree of Bachelor of uh, Business Administration. My goal is just to finish, uh, finish the school if possible, pursue my master's and then come back to, to help the home, you know, to give back to help my brothers also to pursue their, either the career they want in life. All these have been made possible through the goodwill of the many organizations and individuals who have given their time and support for this noble cause. We have been receiving support 
from our main donors. They are called Orphan Aid UK. They are in UK to support most of our activities. And Mama Fawzia Children's Home was part of our activities. We normally help them with school fees and uh, nutrition support and uh, other ad hoc programs also. We do, we do help them. The intervention from Mama Fawzia Children's Home has given hope and allowed dozens and dozens of children to live. Future doctors, lawyers, teachers. I'm doing information technology in intra-global institutional college. I'm hoping to be computed wizard in future. Like most orphanages, Mama Fozia Children's Home faces many challenges to sufficiently provide for their dependents. They need to go on with the studies. If a child needs a, needs a course, I need to give that course. So I need somebody to help me to take that child to the course. I need them to work. I need them to help themselves. I need them to help the others. The home is in constant need to replenish its basic amenities such as food, clothing, medical care and educational support. My goal with the kids is to go ahead. Whoever wants to go to university goes to university. Whoever wants to marry also will marry and uh, go to his house and now start his new life there or a new life there. And I would feel good if they get a nice job so that they can look after them because they had a lot of problems when they are young. Mama Fozia Children's Home is without a doubt making a positive mark in brightening the future of these orphans. If you would like to be part of the lives of these children or need more information, please contact the home at this address. Thank you and God bless.